Hello my sweets, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all safe, happy, and well. Today I've joined in collaboration with one of my favorite YouTube creators, mentor, and now friend, Carrie from Mama Dares to DIY. We both have a ton of Easter supplies left over and we decided to bring you crafts repurposing them into spring decor. So when you're done watching my video, be sure to head over to her channel and watch what she created. If you've never met, say hello and tell her I sent you. All right? Let's get started. I purchased this large egg at Walmart a few months ago and never got to use it. Today I'll be using the bottom half and this little bowl that comes in a four pack from Dollar Tree. I'll give both pieces a good wipe down with rubbing alcohol and adhere them together with a strong adhesive. Then I set them aside for the glue to set up. Next, I trace the opening of the egg on a piece of foam core to create a bottom. I used my box cutter to cut the foam core. You want to cut just inside the line so it will fit snugly inside and make any adjustments needed. Next, taking old grocery bags, I stuff the bottom of the egg. So does anyone else fold their bags up like this? The last bag I put some decorative rocks in to weigh it down and then sealed the bottom with hot glue. Next, I'll be using nautical rope from Dollar Tree to create a handle. I cut a 12 inch piece of rope and made a loop, then secured that loop with hot glue. Next, I used a strong adhesive to attach the rope to the top. I also used a couple dabs of hot glue for the instant hold. Next, I trimmed the rope a little bit, unraveled the ends, and then secured them to the side of the glass bowl with hot glue. Here you can see the handle is secured to the bowl. The next step is to wrap the nautical rope around the base to the top. I begin by unraveling the rope a little bit, then securing it to the base with hot glue. When wrapping the rope, I used hot glue all the way around the first two rows. After that, I glued every quarter turn until I almost reached the top. Have you guessed what we're making yet? If you guessed a B-skip, you are correct. At the end, I cut the rope at an angle and then glued it into the middle of the loop. To make the entrance, I used the top of a jar as a template to cut a piece of black felt. 
Next, I cut a piece of rope to go around the felt and glued the ends together. Then I glued the felt to the front of the skep, followed by the rope. Next, I'm going to make some bees, starting with these Dollar Tree eggs and beads. I'll start by cutting off a small portion of the rounded part of the egg. If you attempt this, please be careful as the egg could slip. Next, I'll take the second largest bead and glue it to the egg. I glued the bead so that the hole was up and down on the egg. To make the antenna, I cut a three inch piece of floral wire and bend it into a V shape. I place some glue in the hole of the bead and insert the wire. Then add a little bit more hot glue. And this is how it should look. Next, I painted the entire bee with Waverly chalk paint and ink and set it aside to dry. Then I cut a six inch piece of floral wire to make the wings. I'm having a hard time explaining how I bent the wire, but hopefully you'll be able to understand by watching. Once I was done bending and twisting the wire, this is what I ended up with. And I did the same thing for the other side. Next, I covered the wire with the second ply of a napkin used in another project and applied Mod Podge to stiffen it. I ended up doing two coats on each side. Next, I came in and put small drops of glue on the end of the antennas and painted the wire black. For the legs, I cut three one and a half inch pieces of black pipe cleaner. Then I trimmed down the fur to make them a little thinner. Now taking Waverly chalk paint in maize, I painted the stripes on the bee. First I painted a rough line around the bee and then went back around doing short hair-like strokes. If you're enjoying this video and you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up as it really helps my channel to grow. Once the Mod Podge dried, I cut the excess napkin from around the wire. Oh. 
Then I gave it a little bend in preparation to attach to the bee. I also bent the pieces of pipe cleaner in half. Next I attach all the pieces with hot glue. Once the legs were firmly in place, I gave those a bend to look more natural. I really wanted to add sunflowers to the skep, but I didn't have any, but I did have these Gerber daisies from fall and decided to pull them apart to make them more proportionate to the skep. I also used leftover pieces of greenery as the original leaves had a more fall tone to them. Next I made a bow out of some leftover buffalo plaid from Christmas time, Dollar Tree rustic farmhouse ribbon, and raffia. I didn't measure the fabric, but they look to be about one and a half inches wide by five to six inches long. To make the bow, I laid the fabric down in an X formation. Next, I cut two five inch pieces of striped ribbon and laid those on top of the fabric. Then I gathered up some pieces of raffia and laid those on top. I gathered all of the pieces together in the middle and tied them with a piece of twine. Finally, I gave the raffia a trim and fluffed the bow. Now to put it all together. First, I tied the bow to the handle. Truth be told, I loved the bow so much I could have stopped there, but since I Frankensteined the flowers, I decided I had to use them. So I put one on the front and two on the back. And lastly, I added the bees. While applying the second bee, I decided I wanted to make the third one a floating bee. So I cut a 10 inch piece of floral wire and rolled up one end. I ended up trimming off two inches and rolled the other end. I glued the wire to the underside of the bee and let it set before gluing it onto the skep. And would you look at that? An absolutely adorable bee skep made from leftover Easter decor. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to make one or already have. Don't forget to check out what Mama Dares to DIY did. Her channel is linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, love, inspire, create. See you next time.